Cherry defines the name Jamie as a beauty who is curious of the world and is known to be beautiful in their own way. That describes Jamie perfectly. Tonight, I am here to break the air of a sweet, funny, nice, and one of the most caring people in the world. That was taken way too soon. She would always make me smile and put me down. I knew Jamie for so many years. We made so many memories together. Camping, staying up really late in the cabin, working, swimming in the lake, running around in the woods, and getting lost and calling our dads to help find us. Sitting and hoping we would make a raffle every time. Talking everyday life before fifth period because our teachers would come really late. Uh, the fathers and daughters of this nation offer you their thanks and the opportunity for meeting here in the spirit of companionship and sportsmanship. Oh, great good humanity too. Great spirit of the campfire, we ask you for your guidance as I now light the sacred fire. Oh, 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 oh. And this morning, we had a good-spirited competition of new war games. And this afternoon, we saw some very unique display of creativity for tribal crafts, invitation, and even the group tribal crafts. And of course, fantastic car race, thank you. You can clearly see and feel the spirit of our Indian Princess program this weekend. The dads and their daughters spending time together and making these memories that will carry them for the rest of their lives. It's just as memorable as the great tribes who come together and bonding and working for a common goal. How how? How how? Uh, the next part of our ceremony is the sacred fire circle ceremony of the arrow breaking. Princesses, pick up the arrow before you. Examine the arrow. Is it straight? And true, let your journey be through life as this arrow, straight and true. And now break that arrow in half. Give the pointed end to your father. That's how he may remember how the journey started. And you keep the feathered end for yourself. For you are about to carve a new point, which symbolizes your ability to continue your journey. But remember that the feathered end you will have for the rest of your life, just like the guidance you have received from your father. Fathers, please stand behind your princesses, put your hands on her shoulders. Little princesses, hear my words. No man on earth could possibly know the meaning of the words love tenderness or joy he has held his young child in his arms and realized that this is God's most perfect miracle. No one on this earth cares for you more or loves you more than the man standing behind you. Never forget this. When you need help, turn to him, for you are the most important thing in his life. Big graves, hear my words. As you stand behind your daughter, continue to do so for the rest of their lives. Whether it's the first time or many times you've heard this poem, it rings true every time. Please listen very carefully. There is warmth for the times when you feel lonely. There is comfort when you are sad. There is genuine caring 
an unselfish sharing in the love for a daughter from a dad. There's help for any time you have problems. There's happiness when you feel glad, and there's a treasure too precious to measure in the love for a daughter from a dad. May the many memories of the campouts glow in your hearts and minds as you depart the Indian Princess program and continue your journey. Let the spirit tonight and the memories of love and fellowship that fill this sacred circle never leave your hearts. Princesses of the Broken Arrows, Moni, turn to your big braves and give them a hug for the journey and the thank you. The entire Seminole Nation congratulates you and wishes you the best of luck throughout your entire life and the many journeys yet to come. How, how? How, how? We have one more, uh, one more moment if you would join me up here. First of all, thank you to Victor for indulging us and for the entire nation for listening. Um, tonight we have a special arrow breaking we're each going to talk a little bit about for one of our former tribe mates that since the events of Valentine's Day this year won't be here to break her own arrow. So we're going to say a little bit. This is my daughter Sage and my pseudo daughter Lindsay. Um, we're from the Aztec tribe. Uh, my name is Jeff Dreamwriter. Daisy Blue. I have known Jamie since I was five years old. Jamie was the one who would always lighten up your whole world. I remember at my first camp out, that, at my first state camp out, they were playing Frozen and, and I hadn't seen it yet, so she made me watch it with her and I remember she was singing along to all the songs. I have done so much with Jamie. I played soccer with her, danced with her, and if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be in this amazing program. I remember a few years ago, Jamie gave me a ride home from dance and she was singing she was singing the whole way home. Jamie is the one who, the one person that when she's in your life, she's in your life forever. The memories I have, I've, ha I have with Jamie are the best memories I've ever made. I remember at my first camp out ever at Circle F, her and I went canoeing and rode as far as we could and got stuck in the lake. So her dad had to come, had to come and pull to pull us back out, pull us all the way back to shore. At every birthday. At every birthday party, there's always that one girl that sings really loud. At mine, that was always Jamie. I remember on my way to my second Circle F camp out, we drove up together and she told me to pretend that we were on an airplane getting ready to take off. I have so many memories with JT, but I can't, but I can't keep going. That will take forever. For now on, when I dance, I dance for me, for not only me, but Jamie too. A quote a quote from Jamie that is now framed in the DTX room at Dance Theater in Parkland is, dreams and dedication are a perfect combination. I love you, Jamie. Fly high. Hi, my name is Lindsay Love, but um, the Urban Dictionary defines the name Jamie as a beauty who is curious of the world and is known to be beautiful in their own way. That describes Jamie perfectly. Tonight, I am here to break the air of a sweet, funny, nice, and one of the most caring people in the world that was taken away too soon. She would always make you smile if you were feeling down. I knew Jamie for so many years. We made so many memories together. Camping, staying up really late in the cabin, war games, swimming in the lake, running around in the woods, and getting lost and calling our dads to help find us. Sitting and hoping we would win a raffle every time. <coughs> Jogging everyday life before fifth period because our teachers would come really late. Spanish class helping each other. Inside jokes, dancing together for ten years. Doing dancing dance with safe and always being next to each other in the front row. Dress rehearsals for studies, sneaking out of the room and trying to get food when we ran out. And so many more. All the jokes we made, the funny faces, the times where we would play music in the cabin very really loud and we would just do our dances. I miss doing that with you. I miss you so much and I know you're watching over us. I love you, Jamie. Um, another thing, first of all, I'm very proud of these two girls for wanting to come up and do this for their friend. Um, 
Uh, also, you might see us around, we have these special patches that Sage created um, that we have on our vests now, all the Aztecs will have, to uh, Aztecs for Jamie, for the orange ribbons. Um, the first time I was involved in the program is, and when I met Jamie and Fred, I was actually Jamie's soccer coach. And um, she was this tiny little person in this giant goalie <laughs> shirt, if you guys remember these big goalie shirts they gave to five-year-olds. <laughs> But she would guard that goal like nobody was getting by her. Um, and she mastered it. And even though she was already friends with Sage at school and dance theater, this began a relationship I had with Fred that is still in existence today. And I still call him my brother and my friend. Um, he had me come to a princess, an Indian princess meeting where we did a craft. And then I got hooked. We went to a circle F. And um, Sage actually started telling that kayak story when, first of all, not doing too much, but Sage is kind of, at least be kind of a chicken of anything. And Jamie got her to go into the kayaks. And before you know it, Fred's like, where are the girls? And they're like all the way on the other side of the lake in the kayaks. And Sage doesn't remember this exactly. Yes, Fred went out there to try to get them, but Fred left, lost his oars halfway out there. I remember that. And I had to go out there and get both of them what ended up happening was the girls turned around and, and rode, them, uh, uh, rode themselves back to shore, and I had to drag Fred in. So, <laughs> but you guys were young. You might not remember that. Um, another thing I remember from the camp outs with Jamie, which was pretty funny, is those of you who knew them, Jesse, her brother, had celiac. So at home, they had like no good food in the house. Um, so every camp out, Jamie got to have Lucky Charms, Pop-Tarts. Oh, yeah. Of course, that was with the Dunkin' Donuts coffee that Fred would bring for us. And, I never for and she would clear that entire box before we left at the end of that camp out because she knew she wasn't getting any when she got home. Um, every time we would decide to go on an Indian Princess camp out, camp out or any event, Sage's first question was, is Jamie going? Um, eventually, Sage got used to going with everybody else, and, and eventually Jamie started growing a little bit apart because she got more involved with dance. Now, luckily, we were in dance with her, so we saw her all the time. And as Lindsay mentioned, we all danced together with dancing dads, and <laughs> watched Fred fall on our feet up <laughs> all the time. And um, we were hoping to do that again this year. And obviously, that's not going to happen. But Fred did want to be here today. Um, he wasn't able to make it. Um, but he did post a, a, a picture on Facebook today from the 2012 Cloverleaf. So we know the Indian Princess program was still in their hearts, um, and they did never get the opportunity to break, even though they always thought they would. Um, so while he continues to fight for all of us and all of our kids um, to be safe in school with, in, in honor of Jamie, um, we would like to break um, this arrow for Fred and Jamie completing their circle in the Aztec family and this great Seminole nation.